Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. Now we're going to dive straight onto our admin console because this video is going to be the very first in a series of videos on how you can get things done as a G Suite admin. Now do take note, scroll down to that description and you will find a link to our website. And on that website, you can find information about some admin boot camps. So if you have people that are interested in becoming your G Suite or your domain admins, well, we run boot camps that will get them fully qualified and certified to do just that. Now in this first video, we're going to be looking at two things. We're going to look at the OUs or organizational units and users. Now the first organizational units, this is a way of organizing your users. So you can have different subgroups and you can have big groups. So for example, you have a group of staff and a group of students. Now within that group, you can have multiple groups for each year group. Now I highly recommend that you go by year they will graduate because that way you don't have to change the name of these OUs each and every academic year. Now users, this is where we do everything to do with our domain users. We can add users, remove users, suspend users and manage their settings. Now for this video, I'm going to dive in and I'm going to create a demo OU. So that's what I'm going to title it as well. Go ahead and open up your organizational units menu. Now at the top on the left hand side, you'll see a yellow button. And as soon as you click that, you're going to be able to create a new organizational unit. Now this can be a nested unit or it can be a parent unit. I'm going to create a new parent unit within my domain and it's going to be demo OU. You can give it a description. This could be a description read by other co-admins or it could just be a description to remind you what this OU is for. Now then at the bottom, you can choose the parent or top domain that this belongs to. At the top, you'll see there's a search box. And if you end up with a lot of different organizational units, this is incredibly helpful to find just that OU that you want to tweak some settings for. Now that I have this OU and I hover over it, three symbols show up. Now I can click on that plus icon. This is going to create a nested organizational unit. For example, I have a OU that is students. And then when I click on the plus, I create a sub OU and that will be students graduating in the year 2025. The second symbol is to move your OUs around. So let's say that you've created them all and now you want to start organizing them. Well, this is where you can move it. And then the final one, this is where you have an edit button. So when you click on that, you can go to edit and this allows you to change the name and description of your organizational unit. Now, this is all that needs to be done at this moment because next we're going to dive onto our users. And now we're going to start adding users into these organizational units. Now the reason for adding users to organizational units is so that we can apply settings later on and it automatically applies to the entire organizational unit. So let's say that you have a unit for year three students and there's more than 100 students in that year three group. Well, you can just apply a setting to the organizational unit and it automatically applies to every single user within the unit. So I would highly recommend that you really think about your organizational units and get them all ready before adding users. And once you've done this, go back to the main page and then find that button users. On the left hand side, there's an overview of all your organizational units with again, a fast link to that manage organizational units. And at the top, well, that's where we're going to add a user. So go ahead and click on add user. Here, you're going to have to give your user a name and surname, and then also assign it an email address. So this is their login ID. This is what they're going to be using to log in. And I highly recommend that you carefully think about this, maybe with your SLT teams, or maybe you get some sort of format for the entire school. One format for teachers and one for students works really well or using student numbers is another one that is often used by large schools. Now, in addition to adding this ID, you also have to choose the domain. Now, if you only own a single domain, then this is where you use that domain. If you have multiple domain names linked to your G Suite domain, well, then here you can select that as well. Which brings us to the next part and that's where you're now going to select the organizational unit this user will enter into. So you have to click on the little pen icon and then you can select the organizational unit. I'm going to select the demo OU and I'm going to make sure that my first demo student 
becomes a member of the demo OU. I can also add a secondary email address or a phone number, but this is not required. Now, before adding this user, there are two more things you're going to have to decide. First thing is, do I want to use an automatically generated password or do I want to assign them a very easy to remember password and then force this user to choose their own later? I'm going to do that right now and I'm going to choose a very easy to remember password, apps events. And then I'm going to also tick this box right here because I want the user to have to choose a new password as soon as they log in. This way I can give my students their email address I can give them a very generic, easy to remember password and they will be prompted to change it into a new and secure password as soon as they log in. Once you've filled everything out, go ahead and click on add user. Now this is how you can add all your users onto your G Suite domain. Now let's say that you have hundreds of users to upload and you do not want to do this manually. Well, there is a bulk upload method. So click on bulk upload. And then here you will see that you can also upload a CSV file. Now they will give you a template, so simply download that template, fill out the information for all your users and then upload the CSV file. It'll automatically generate the users and add them to the correct OUs. Now I hope you found this video helpful. This was another tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer. Make sure that you scroll down to that description and let us know if you like these admin videos. And don't forget if you're interested in bringing an admin bootcamp to your organization or school, scroll down to the description and find all the links you need. That brings us to the end of this video. I just want to thank Acer and Apps Events for their ongoing support and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.